Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to normalize audio files in Reaper. Now you're probably wondering, what does normalizing actually do? Well, if we're dealing with a project like this, where the audio files level is pretty low, it just brings it up as much as possible without clipping. So if I bring up the volume like this, just to about here, where it doesn't clip the audio, but it's as loud as possible. Now there are a few myths that go with normalizing our files. One of them is that it changes the signal to noise ratio. So if we look at this picture with the noise down over here and our signal up here, if we normalize the file or bring up the gain, all it does is bring up the signal and the noise together. So it doesn't affect the signal to noise ratio. If we have noise down here, like air conditioning noise or hiss or preamp noise, that noise is gonna be brought up along with our signal, our vocal or guitar. So it's not gonna make the noise any louder, but it's also not gonna make it any quieter. So we don't improve the signal to noise ratio, but we also don't make it worse. We don't change it at all. Another myth about normalizing is that it affects the dynamics. For example, let's bring this up. The dynamics of a file is just the difference between the loud sections and the quiet sections. This one's louder, medium, and low. And if we normalize it or bring it up, it doesn't change the distance between them. This is still loud, this is still medium, and this is still quiet. So again, it just makes the file louder. It doesn't change the dynamics or the signal to noise ratio. So why would we normalize our files? Well, to be honest, there's really no need to ever normalize our files. We don't have to do it. Although personally, I do find a use for it. For one thing, I like to work with larger waveforms, like this, so I can see them better if I want to remove some S sounds or P pops. It makes it easier to see our waveforms. Although, we can just change the visual if we want. We can go to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and type in Peaks. And right over here is an action to increase the peaks while we're viewing the game. And we can decrease them right here. Using the keyboard shortcut, Shift Up or Shift Down. Hit Shift Up or hold it down, and it makes it as big as you want. Or lower, we shift down. But this affects all the files together. So if my snare track was all the way up like this, I'm gonna use that keyboard shortcut to make the vocal look bigger. It's gonna make the snare look too big because it doesn't work separately with each file. Another big difference, and again, it's just for me personally, is for mixing. If we normalize all these files and go to the mixer, I know if I'm mixing this project, that I'm probably gonna have the piano about down here with my vocal around here, my snare about here, and my kick right about here. This is just from personal experience. And if this is off in any way, like my vocal is way up here, I know something is wrong. So by normalizing the files ahead of time, I'll notice very quickly if something is wrong somewhere else. But again, that's just my personal opinion. We don't really have to normalize our files. But if we do, let's take a look at how. Let's go back to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and let's type in Normalize. And we can see right here, we can normalize our items with this action. And the keyboard shortcut on PC is Control Shift N, and on Mac, it's Command Shift N. So if we select the vocal, hit that keyboard shortcut, it's going to normalize that file. And again, it brings it all the way up without clipping. So if you want a bit of headroom, you might want to bring this down just a bit. Grab it right here with the knob, or bring it down just a few dB to give us more headroom. 
but that's just normalizing one file. We could also do multiple files. Let's select all these files by marquee, dragging them, or just hit select all, use the same keyboard shortcut to normalize all the items in our project. And just like that, each file is normalized. And again, if you want some headroom, just bring them down just a little bit like this. Now we'll notice each file is brought up by a different amount. The vocal is plus 18, the snare is plus 11, and the kick is plus 12. So it's based on the volume of the individual audio file. But if we want to normalize it with common gain, all the same, so undo this, we can use a different keyboard shortcut. And why this is useful is for situations like this. Let's say we split the vocal here, 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 and here. And if we normalize all the vocal files together, let's double click the track, it's going to individually normalize each item. Where it sounds like this right now. Baby, baby, oh. Notice this item is quieter than this one. And the breath over here is even quieter than all of them. But if we normalize it now, it's going to bring all of them up based on their individual volume level. So if we do it now, watch what happens. Baby, baby, oh. It does affect the dynamics because they're all normalized individually. Again, if we don't want that behavior, let's undo it. Instead, we could choose this action. Normalize multiple items to common gain. And this keyboard shortcut is just Shift N. So if we hit that instead, Shift N, it normalizes it based on the lowest volume, but it keeps them in proportion. Because the gain boosted about 19 dB is the same on each file. So it's not gonna affect the dynamics. It's just gonna make it louder, like this. Baby, baby, oh. So this breath doesn't jump out as being too loud. Now you're probably noticing that I'm boosting the gain with this volume knob, which doesn't show up by default. But if we go to the preferences, and scroll down to Appearance, Media. You can choose this button right here, Volume Knob, which I leave on to make it easier to adjust the volume right over here. But again, that's off by default. Now I should mention one other thing when it comes to normalizing our audio. If you're using plugins that emulate hardware that are designed to see a very specific volume, usually about minus 18 dB, you don't want to normalize all your files. You can still do it, but bring it down quite a bit to make sure you're hitting those plugins at the volume they prefer. But that's only if you're using those plugins. So that's pretty much it. That's how to normalize audio files in Reaper. Hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.